everyone, welcome. My name is Helen. This is the Shrimpy McGee channel. Outside, it is snowing. We are in December now. Thanks so much, everybody, for joining me. If it's your first time here, welcome. And if you are a subscriber, hello, 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 and thank you for watching. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, if you would consider doing that and ringing the bell, I would be so very grateful. That helps let me know what kind of content you guys want from me and whether you're enjoying stuff and also helps you not miss my next video. And so without any further, let's talk about what I wanted to get into today, which is Rogaine and the different products you can use for thinning hair and hair loss, like to cover it up and the order that you're supposed to use them in, because that is one of the questions that I do see pop up from time to time. And then the sort of larger topic I wanted to talk about is self-esteem, Rogaine, hair loss, how those things fit in together. And so I will show you guys the steps in a minute, but the first thing I just wanted to talk about is just to acknowledge how devastating it is when you start to lose your hair as a woman. And for men too, this is not just about women, but I would say just in my own experience and that of the women that I help here on my channel and that I hear from, either in my comments or on my Instagram. My Instagram, you can find it in uh, the description box below and you're welcome always to direct message me there if there's something that you don't wanna see, but other people to see, you can send a message to me privately and I will answer you. It's really, really hard for women. And I read every level of just desperate, desperate comments and, and women just get to such a low, low point when their hair is falling out and they've tried many different things and none of them work. When they take showers and tons and tons of hair keeps falling out, it is truly devastating. I want you to know that I know how bad this feels. I've dealt with it myself. Luckily, I've been able to build my hair back up to a bit of a medium density situation. It is nowhere near where it used to be, which was super, super thick, super unruly very, very poofy. Um, we're not there. We're at a very medium hair density, but I did have thin hair before and I had a big old bald spot and a thinning perk, big time. If you go back to some of my older videos in my playlist about using Rogaine and um, thinning hair and hair loss, you can see I have lots of before and after photos and I know how devastating it is, it sucks. And so I just wanna tell you, I feel you. I know that this is taking a hit on your self-esteem Hopefully some of these things work for you. I have a playlist where I talk about what to do when you're starting to lose your hair, how to stop panicking and how to just, there are just some like basic steps you can do so you can feel free to have a look at that video. Hopefully something in there will help you. Um, but I just wanna acknowledge that, you know, your self-esteem totally takes a hit. People recognize you for your hair, for better or worse, right? I mean, as I have said before here on this channel, people can just look like at, at somebody's silhouette and just from the silhouette, the hair and the silhouette, you can tell who that person is. The point I wanna make is that, you know, your hair is very closely associated with your identity, especially as a woman. Even if you didn't care that much about your hair, once you start to lose it, you will. I've never seen a woman not lose her hair and just be totally chill about it. I've not seen that happen yet. So I just want to send an acknowledgement to you that it sucks, it's gonna take a hit on your self-esteem, but I also wanna encourage you to do what you can. Take some power back. Don't just feel like a victim about it. You know, and I'm not saying it's not, it doesn't feel like crap, it does, but there are pretty some pretty easy things you can do to make it look a little bit better. You know, you can't put in no effort and expect to look great. You don't look like you did six months ago, a year ago, that sucks, I get it. I get it, but at a certain point, you've got to, you know, you've got to maintain control of the bicycle, okay? So <laughs> you've got to drive the car. Don't let the car drive you, right? So here are some tips to help with that. And so one of the things that I strongly suggest, and I've talked about before on this channel, I'm not, this is not sponsored at all, but um, I do feel like you should cover your, your thinning and balding spots with some sort of fiber powder. I like this and I like the L'Oreal Root Cover Up Spray. I think that they're both great and I think if you use them together, you can really fill in a lot, you can really fool the eye and you'll feel a lot better. But can you use it with Rogaine? I get this question a lot. And uh, what order are you supposed to use it in? So let's talk about that now. Okay, so let's just say you're doing your Rogaine for the day and you can make this part of your morning routine. And so I'm just gonna put in a tiny bit today cause I already have my Rogaine in for the day but for the sake of you guys, I shall put it in again. And, uh, but not too much because 
you know, it's unnecessary. Okay, so I'm really just gonna put in a tiny amount here, as you can see, just a tiny dot, because like I said, I put it in already, and I'm just gonna try and give you an idea of what to do. So it's the morning, and so you're getting ready to go to work, right? This is where we are, and so your hair is dry. Don't put this on soaking wet hair. You can. I suggest using it on a dry scalp. I feel like it penetrates much quicker, much better. Right, so that's in now, but I would be using more of that if it were a normal amount. Is it gonna be wet? Yeah, so now's the time to um, just let it dry a bit. You don't wanna go right in with your product right after. Now's the time to wash your hands and uh, put a bit of makeup on. Maybe you leave, you know, you do this part and then you do your makeup and you just let that dry. Once that's sufficiently dry, that's when you use your fibers. So I'm not gonna use too, too much, um, but you would knock, you would just tap these in, right? I don't know if anything is actually tapping in. That should do it. And so, as you know with fibers, let's do some here so you can see it a bit better. Let me get my thing. Okay, I'm covering that spot, right? I don't know if you can see. I think you can, right? That it just got darker right in there. You can see less of my scalp. So you do that. So let's just say it was back here. I'm just doing it up here because it'll be easier for you guys to see. But let's just say I had a big spot here. You would do that. You would have a look and then you tap it in. That's your next step. I would just caution you to make sure that the foam is on the drier side, but it, it dries pretty quickly. That's the upside of using foam. If you're using oil, I'm not sure that they mix that well. Sorry, liquid. If you're using Rogaine liquid, I think you can still do it. You maybe need to stretch out the time between when you apply the liquid and when you apply the fiber because that liquid, at least the generic one that I have from Target, is kind of on the oily side. So I would kind of spread them out maybe a bit more. Like maybe you do the liquid and then a bit later. Maybe when you're almost at work, you put this in if that's practical for you. Or maybe just as you're heading out the door. This is done before you put your coat on and get your car keys. Let's say you also want to use the root spray. At that point, you spray your root spray. And at that point, if you wanna lock everything down, what I would suggest is to use just hairspray. I love this L'Oreal Elnet. I've always used this hairspray. It's the extra strong hold and it's unscented because, ooh, I hate, I do not like a scented hairspray. I love an unscented hairspray. This one is just, it's amazing. And I've tried much more expensive ones, <laughs> living proof. <laughs> and um, this one honestly works just as well and it's from the drugstore and uh, I buy it when it's on sale. Okay, so then you just, you just, you spray. So yeah, you can definitely use Rogaine and then just style with your um, thin hair products on top of that and it will work just great. Now, and the other question that I get and the next logical step from here is can you do it again in the morning? Can you put Rogaine on top of these fibers? Hell yeah, you can do it. I've done it. I've done it. But what kind of happens is it kind of leaves a mess on your fingers. So you, once you scratch it in, the fibers are kind of messy. You know, I'm gonna show you now and see if any of it comes off. But the next morning, these fibers, if they're in your hair, um, I don't know how well that's gonna pick up, but they will pick up and so you will have them on your fingers. Um, and if you're okay with that, cool. If not, then I really don't know what to say. Maybe wash your hair and then use Rogaine, but um, you can successfully go on. I did it for ages where I would just put the Rogaine on top of my um, fibers and I think that these fibers absorb some of it but some of it must have still gone into my scalp because I honestly have had really good results with the Rogaine as you guys know if you followed me here um, and so yeah that's how I've been doing it I've just just gone on top of it which is kind of messy for your fingers but still when, if it gets onto the scalp it seems to still to still work and so yeah that's what I've been doing I hope that was helpful and uh, if it was, be sure to please give me a like and please consider subscribing to this channel. I'm always trying to grow it here and make videos that will really resonate and help all of you ladies out there and guys too who are struggling with hair loss. So if you like and subscribe, that really lets me know that you're enjoying this and um, I know to make more of it. Thanks so much everyone and I hope you're having a great day. Feel free always to drop me comments below or just slide in to my DMs over on Instagram if you have any other kind of questions, I'm happy to answer them. All right, bye.